Want to create an eye-catching rapid shutter effect in Premiere Pro? In this video, I'll show you how to make this dynamic effect easily in Premiere Pro. But that's not all. To make things even simpler, I've also put together an exclusive rapid shutter premium pack. You'll get ready-to-use rapid shutter effects designed to save you hours and take your edits to the next level. All right, you can see on the timeline that I have a few video clips. Each of these clips is exactly nine frames long, keeping the length consistent throughout. However, the final clip is a bit different. It's longer than the standard and has more than nine frames. First, move the time indicator to the beginning of the first clip. Then, head over to the effects panel to start adding effects. First, I'm going to apply a directional blur effect. Drag and drop the directional blur onto the first video clip. Next, add a transform effect. Again, drag and drop it onto the first clip. Finally, apply a brightness and contrast effect the same way. Now let's customize these effects in the effect controls panel. Before moving forward, hit subscribe and drop a like. More editing tutorials are on the way. From the directional blur settings, set the direction value to around 90 degrees. Then adjust the blur length to about 0.4 or 0.5. Next, let's adjust the transform effect. Make sure your time indicator is at the very start of the first clip. Click the stopwatch icon next to the position parameter to create keyframes. Then set the shutter angle to around 100. Now slowly increase the Y position value until the video moves completely out of view. Watch the screen carefully and stop once the clip disappears entirely. Then move the time indicator three frames forward. You can fast or slow down the speed of your shutter effect by moving more frames ahead or closer. It's totally up to you and reset the Y position to its default by clicking the reset parameter icon. Moving on to the brightness and contrast effect. At the very beginning of the clip, create keyframes for both brightness and contrast, set the brightness to about 100 and the contrast to around 50. Next, move the time indicator three frames forward and reset both the brightness and contrast values to zero. Once that's done, select all the effects you just added to the first clip and copy them. Now, select the rest of the video clips on the timeline and paste these effects by pressing Ctrl plus V. This will apply the same effects to all selected clips. Next, move the time indicator to the start of the last video clip and then move it six frames forward. Drag the brightness and contrast keyframes to this position. This will create a nice flash at the end of the rapid shutter effect. Now, move the time indicator back to the start of the first video clip. Move it forward three frames, then move the second video clip to the second track on the timeline and overlap it with the first clip at this position. Again, move the time indicator three frames forward, then move the third video clip to the third track and overlap it the same way. Repeat this process for all the video clips. This layering will create that smooth, rapid shutter effect. For sound effects, I use Music GPT, an all-in-one tool for all your audio needs. You can create any custom-made song or sound effect that you can imagine, all with zero copyright issues. Let's try out something. I'll type cinematic music, and within seconds, this tool generates a fully original AI track. You can even head over to the Explore section, where you'll find tons of ready-made AI songs. You can use them for inspiration, or even add them directly into your own videos. Music GPT also lets you generate any kind of sound effect the exact same way. Simply type what you need, and it's ready instantly. But Music GPT isn't just about music or sound effects. It also offers text-to-speech, song remixing, song part replacement, and even track extension, all within seconds. In the text-to-speech section, you'll find some popular voices that you can use for your AI voiceovers. Just select a voice, type your text, and hit generate. That's all you need to create a natural sounding narration. Hey, it's me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. So overall, Music GPT is a complete audio solution that covers every part of music production and sound design. You can use it in countless creative ways. And here's the best part. If you sign up through the link in the description, you'll get 500 monthly credits absolutely free. So make sure to check it out. The link is mentioned in the description below. Finally, add a shutter sound effect. This sound effect will make the effect feel even more dynamic and attention grabbing for your audience. You can find the sound file in the description below. Just match it with your clips for perfect timing. And that's it. This is how you can create a rapid shutter effect in just a few simple steps. For later use, you can also save this as a preset file. Just select all the effects you used, right click and choose save preset.
you'll find this rapid shutter effect in your effects panel. Whenever you want to use it, just drag and drop it onto your clips and you're good to go. The preset file will also be linked in the description below. All right, now let's talk about my premium rapid shutter effect pack. You'll find the download link for this pack in the description below. Once you get the pack, you'll have access to six different rapid shutter presets, three for full length videos and three for reels like Instagram, YouTube Shorts or TikTok. To use it, just extract the pack. Inside, you'll find a Premiere Pro project file. Simply open it up. Make sure you're using Premiere Pro 2025 for best results. If I play it now, you'll see it's fully ready. All you need to do is drop in your own footage and you're good to go. Let me show you how. Inside the project, you'll see placeholder videos. Just double click on each one, drag your clip in and match the frames exactly as shown. Then double click on the next one, add your clip, keep the frames aligned and repeat this for all nine or 10 clips. Once you've replaced everything, your rapid shutter effect is ready to go. The best part? This effect is fully editable. You can tweak, change, or remove anything you want. The same process applies for all the other effects in the pack. Super simple, super fast. You'll be creating your own rapid shutter edits in seconds with just a few clicks. You'll find the premium pack link in the description, so make sure to check it out. That's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below if you have any questions or doubts. And I'll see you in the next one.